Hi, and welcome to How to Go Kayaking. Today, we're going to show you the five basic steps in how to use your wonderful kayak and go in a river and just do it. Okay, so if you'll come closer, I'm going to show you what kind of kayaks we have. But before we do that, I need to explain a little bit about your attire. You want to make sure that you're wearing a really baggy shirt. If it's not baggy, then it sucks for you because this helps you a lot in your venture to kayaking. And you also want to wear sunglasses to keep the sun and your hat to, you know, the sunglasses to keep the sun and so do the hat away from your face. So then, let's explain the kayak. This kayak's name has heritage. That's because it has heritage. And we found this kayak in the Blueborn River down in Oaxaca, Tennessee. Um, it's a place I made up, but it's in Tennessee. I didn't know what the town name was. But anyway, this is all the heritage. It's got heritage. It dates way back to the 16,000s, 1600s, the 1600s. It, that's what it dates back to. Um, and so it's, it, it's still in good shape though. Over here we have the Squawky Pelican. Now this one is a little bit nicer. We, we found it uh, somewhere along banks somewhere, down by the banks, the hanky pankies. And this is dates back from like 2008, so it's not that old as 1600s. But this is our kayaks for today that we're going to be using. Hi, here we are in the ancient river of Clay City, Indiana. It's very important when you're kayaking that you decide what type of river you want to be in. A river that is very, very, very full of spiders. That helps you because the spiders help keep everything interesting. And it keeps it more fun. Now, here we are on a river. You can go on a lake or an ocean or a pool or whatever, but I would say a river is probably the best option just because, well, it's a river. So here we go, and I'm just going to show you how to paddle. If you'll come closer, or you just stay behind. What you want to do is you want to make sure that you're paddling right, left. Professionals will do this, sometimes paddle like this. And you don't want to do that because that puts water everywhere. And it's really rambunctious. So here we go on our adventure. We're going on a dip in our favorite kayak going to the river. We love the river. This is the law of the jungle, as old and as true as the sky. And the wolf that shall keep it may prosper, but the wolf that shall bring it must die. As the creeper that girdles the tree trunk will roll and afford him back. The of the wolf, and the of the wolf is the path. Okay, now I'm going to teach you how to move around obstacles. You want to paddle like this, and you want to go in a circular formation around the obstacle you're trying to conquer. So go on, there's some rapids, so this is going to be a challenge. Keep going, paddle, and then you're going to do it too, I'm going to do it. UIOR, an unidentified object of the river, right here. Now, we don't know exactly what type of unidentified object it is, hence the name, but we, we're we gonna find out right now. Noah, my cameraman, can you lick that? Sure. You obviously didn't lick it, but if you were to lick it, you would probably find out that there are Native Americans who have been here like eight weeks ago who put that there. That, you can tell all that from like, all right. Continuing on. Look for the bare necessities, the simple bare necessities. Forget about your worries and your stress. Yeah, man, I mean the bare necessities of Mother Nature's recipe. So we have arrived uh, to the point of our journey where this is called the re relaxation period. And during this time, I just want to take your time to lay down and die. No. Lay down and take a nap. And this is just how you do it in this part of the 
of the river. This is during the middle. Make sure you do this during the middle slash three and fourth quarters. That's a thing. That's what we're going to be doing. So for the next, I don't know, like three hours we're going to be doing this. So just hear that water. It's beautiful. 